was meant to be one of those sports icons from the United States that was going to transcend quite literally around the world. We were going to bind to a brand. Everything that she touched apparently was simply going to turn to gold. But it's not quite worked out that way for Megan Rapino. As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning. How are you? Nice to see you. Now, that is a name over here in the United Kingdom that doesn't really know, you know, we're not that well known. Of course, she's no doubt a wonderful sports star, having played for the United States over 200 times and a lot of controversy surrounding her as well. For instance, refusing to sing the national anthem at recent games, taking the knee. You know, the sort of irritating person that you think, goodness, how on earth did anybody think it was worth investing in them? And of course, Knight decided earlier this year to make a cartoon version of Megan Rapino to help sell her brand at big sporting events. It didn't really work though. But now Megan's decided, and they all do this, after now moving away from the game and deciding to retire, that she's got a little bit more to offer than people originally thought. Interesting. Let me explain. Rapino has played more than 200 games for the United States national women's soccer team and has been outspoken in her work away from the pitch, while at times been the centre of controversy herself. As I said, she refused to sing the national anthem, kneeled, of course, during Black Lives Matter. Basically, Megan says that she loves to be able to use her platform to gain leverage. After all, she said, I built an amazing platform over these many years. But what she basically means by all of this stuff is, now she's retired, she says she wants to see biological males who have transitioned to be trans women play in the women's national soccer team. You can imagine this hasn't gone down too well with her former mates, and rightly so. But you see, it's always interesting with these people who have now made millions of pounds on their own sponsorship deals, their own big platforms. They all want to speak out the minute that they've made their money to make it harder for the people they're leaving behind. According to a very well-placed source, Nike is very concerned about this and one wonders if it'll continue their association with Miss Rapino. But more importantly, the people, as I say, that she played with are now saying that if she's going to push forward with this, where does that leave them being able to get things, you know, being able to achieve things simply as women, not as trans women? This is where it becomes absolutely ridiculous. It's either a female football team or a male football team. It's not a mixture of whatever you want it to be. But Megan Rapino apparently doesn't care what the public think, or indeed her dedicated one-time fans. She wants to push ahead with this, making sure, of course, that she alienates, if that were possible, even more of the wonderful United States of America. It is a developing story. When I know more, you'll know more. New Sean in the very heart of London.